Well, that's a nice start to this holiday weekend. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed Thanksgiving. This is the end of Black Friday today, technically, in the States. Uh, it is 9.54. I'm going to start packing some of these orders here. We got, uh, I think, eight there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight orders, some small ones, some big ones. But, hey, orders are orders, and I don't really care. So we're going to start packing these up and get these out the door. I don't think I'm going to get these all finished. Uh, this order up here, this top one, what's nice about this one is I did, with the buyer, I did a second one off of Berklink for a similar amount. So, really, I've done nine orders um so far and of course we're running our big sale right now it's the biggest sale we've ever done 25 percent off pieces and 15 percent off of minifigs but we have a lot of work to do too today not only packing orders i'm almost done uploading all the 501st stuff uh the way i upload it's a little differently but um it makes it easier with my schedule sometimes i have to put those trippers together we got a bunch of mail that came in um and those pieces still to upload so we're gonna be working pretty late tonight uh to really get caught up here All right, I did seven of the eight orders. I didn't do the eighth order only because I knew that we were going to get another, or the eighth order was also part of a uh, PayPal invoice that I've done that I'm just going to do both at the same time. So I'll just wait till I do that. Um, I'm going to finish these blue pieces of these 501st, uh, clean this up a little bit, and then I said I got, I got packages here. Packages, packages, packages to open. All right, quickly open just to make sure it was it was what I thought it was. Um, I found Darth Vader's head. I was so excited. Um, I still have to finish some of these. And then this is Star Wars. This is Star Wars. And Star Wars. So these are all Star Wars. Um, the Star Wars ones sell a lot. So I've been purchasing Star Wars ones. So we'll hopefully get to these tonight as well. I almost finished parting all that out but i'm kind of done doing that now time to move on to minifigs and i got this plate at a um, thrift store for a buck and i'm going to start moving my minifigs out of bags and putting them in plates based off of sections um and because it's just easier in my opinion so we're going to start with this and see what here is done. bag number one and this was part of a trade that i did with lego battle production uh he needed parts and said to me hey would you be interested in trading for Jet Troopers, uh, I said, sure. And uh, now I know the average price for these are really high. They're like $9 in some sense. That was because the set that these came in, the 501st Battle Pack, were really hard to get. Now they're really common. Uh, I actually have seven of these already listed at $5.90. Um, there's another 16 in here. Uh, I might part some of these out, just parts, and then... Uh, some of them might sell as full minifigs. I haven't decided yet. I'm not going to do anything with these right now because I said I already have seven. Uh, and I might just, as I said, I might part out helmets. I feel like some of the stuff might part out pretty well. Uh, especially these heads. I see, I've heard from a couple of LEGO vloggers that these heads, because they're new in color, uh, are actually selling pretty well. So I might part out these. But I still feel like at the end of the day, if I sold each if I sold each one for only five bucks, I would still make a profit. And and when I was telling my wife about this deal, um, was actually was really happy with this deal because really you're almost getting profit on top of profit. Uh, and the main reason why is I sold pieces, I got a percentage of profit out of that. So really my initial cost on those pieces is probably only about 60% of what I charged. And then I'm getting more value out of these, even if I sold them at an extremely low price. I'm getting more value out of these than what I paid for that. So this is, you know, a profit on top profit, which pretty much puts it at those pieces. Now I probably, you know, maybe it was more like 50% or 40%. I don't know the exact percentages, but but realizing that because I didn't pay, even, you know, even though I give Lego Battle Production a really good discount because he buys so much from me, uh, at the end of the day, I didn't spend $70 of my own money to send them to get these that I could sell for maybe 80 I ended up maybe only spending $40 of my own money to sell him $70 worth of parts that he then traded me for these battle or these minifigs that I can maybe get $80, $90, $100 for. It just comes down to when I can sell them, how fast I can sell them. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do with these, but I'm not going to do anything else with these ones. Package number two came from Macari, and Macari is a buying and selling app. Uh, they advertise more as selling, but I've been, of course, buying from them. Uh, it's a little bit different because it's uh, it's not bidding, so you're not bidding like an eBay, and the negotiations a lot more open. So this was the first one I bought from it. I've got I heard you know good things about it, uh, though not a big fan when I see this as packaging material um, because this just increases the rates for us to ship because they they provide this for free, 
and they build it in the cost, but if they keep, people keep using these as packaging material. Um, so I'll keep it in case I ever want to use Priority Express for it. Uh, but let's see what's in here. I had to actually, I mean, there's a whole box like taped over. So I can't complain too much. I got a really good deal on these ones, but, but I got these Star Wars minifigs. Um, I'm increasing my minifigs for several reasons. One, um, minifigs sell the best. You get the most profit out of minifigs. Um, but also, uh, I'm going to be really exploring the idea of opening a eBay store for minifigs only uh, to continue to expand my audience. Um, you know, not everybody knows about it. I haven't even got the jetpack on it, so that's nice. Uh, not everybody knows about BrickLink, and so some of these, uh, I'm starting to stock up now, uh, and then I'm going to start making a pile of ones that I'm going to put on to eBay uh, and sell either individually or um, in groups. Also might look at Macari. Uh, it's selling at um, oh, Macari as well. Uh, these are actually in pretty decent shape. This, this one here is a good one. And I got that blue arm. Yeah, it's got the blue arm. Blue printed arm too, yeah. He's like a $20, $25 minifig on Brooklyn. So there's some good ones here. So pretty happy about this one. I think I paid like $190 for it. Uh, but there's over 30 or 35 minifigs. There were 33, that's right, 33 minifigs. Um, and when I did rough numbers, I was getting a decent amount of money out of them. And the last order that came in was from eBay. This was an eBay lot I won. I have to admit, this one's been wrapped really nicely. Um, I'm actually going to have to use two hands here. I've left it zip locked. Um, but just what I'm seeing here, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, but I actually won this one pretty inexpensively. Look, there's another one. one. Actually, though, when I looked at this one closely after I finished filming, he's got a really dirty helmet, so... Hopefully we can clean them. Uh, but these ones are really great shape. Uh, you got a couple of the orange ones, they sell well. Oh yeah, he's got that cool printed blue one. Uh, then you know you got some Santa troops. You got you got a bunch of different ones here. Some from uh, the first Phantom Menace movie. Um, that might be a Django. Uh, General Grievous. Uh, a couple other ones here. Now some of them aren't the right pieces. I'll have to go through and make sure they match it up. So for instance. Uh, this guy here, which I saw in the thing, he doesn't have that green bandana, but he actually has this helmet right, right there. Uh, and he actually sells pretty well. He sells for like 12, 13 bucks. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start processing these. I have a bunch more coming in. Oh, and I guess I forgot to, you did get a monster one. I think I, I think I talked about this in a previous vlog, if I didn't. And we did get a monster lot in. Um, I've already uploaded uh, five or six. It actually sold one, it sold the Medusa. Pretty quickly. So we got the witch. Uh, some of these sell really well. They're from that monster series and, and the monster fighters. And they're really popular. It's a shame. I was excited that I have him ready to go until I realized he's got the wrong underneath head. He's, this guy, they just put a black head underneath him, but he actually has a real head. Uh, so I got to still get the mummy uploaded. Um, this guy uploaded because he's all there. The minotaur. Uh, and then I'll get the coffins uploaded. But this one here, I was pretty happy about. And here's another one of those zombie brides. So I have uh, this torso and these pants. This zombie bride sells for $27 if you have all the pieces. And the main reason why, her hair. Her hair, there's a, it's a special color. It was only done for her minifig. Uh, and it's really hard to find. Uh, so now I at least have a head. Uh, I'll sell her parted out and maybe I'll lower the prices a little bit more, but I already have a torso and the bottom dress. Now I have a head. Um, since I don't have the hair so far from what I've been going through on my U stuff, uh, I'll probably just part her out. Now, I'm going to look closely where I found my first one at to see if she's in the bottom of the bin, you know, where all the small pieces fall, and we'll see what happens there. So I'm going to work on getting some of these uploaded tonight. It is rather late, but I'm, I'm going to push through here a little bit and, and see what I got going on. So the chance you take sometimes of buying used and not being able to see beforehand, two microscopic cracks on the side there and then a nick on the head. All right, so he his six months average was $19.64. There's two people selling it for less. Uh, they're $13.50. Uh, one's got the wrong head. Uh, yellowing, and then the other one has doesn't have the blue arm, which let's be honest is probably one of the main reasons why. So uh, I'll probably put him up for fourteen fifty because while it has a slight microscopic crack, it's not that bad. Uh, you clean it pretty well. Um, you know it's hard some of these white ones, especially the years they came out. I'm trying to see when he came out. 
I mean, he's 2013, so anyone who has these are seven years old. They probably had them on their shelf, and so they're going to get some discoloration on them, which kind of stinks because people want them in perfect condition, but it's hard to get that. So uh, we'll try 1450 and see if we sell him, and if not, maybe we'll drop the price. I mean, right now, so it's going to be 1450 but then it's going to be 15% off, so they're going to get uh, almost $2 off on him. So they're going to get him. He's going to be the cheapest one for sale right now in BrickLink.